Welcome to Inside the Utah Jazz and the Belt High Dribble Network. Little J. Alongside Big J, we're talking about the game tonight. Utah drops a major goose egg down in Houston. First game we've been able to watch together, and I'll tell you what, we paused it. We got up and did other things and TiVo'd through a lot of it because it was absolutely pitiful. I'm extremely disappointed that we couldn't close them out down there. Um, and I'm telling you, if we don't win game six, season this season might be over for us. I know. I thought, I mean, maybe we could close it out. But, you know, when you're facing elimination you, and you got the fans behind you, it's kind of hard to lose. Yeah. And we don't have much to say tonight. I mean, it was crap all the way around. I thought Memo would be hot when he got eight points right out of the chute. But other than that, very disappointed. Very disappointed. we got to pull ourselves together. Yep, got to pull ourselves together. I mean, if they want to get the series over and rest up before um, all the other series are over so we can play the Lakers. Yeah. But yeah. I, we're, I'm not, we're not even done with this series yet. So. But I'm okay. If we can close out on Thursday, I kind of like playing the Lakers immediately after that. I mean, if we give them sometimes a break, if it's a long break, or even a short break, any break in general can cause a team to get a little bit out of rhythm. Mm -hmm. So I like that. But I just also want to say for you punks out there that got all over little Jay and I for talking about why in the heck the Dallas Mavericks traded for Jason Kidd, we did say, if you look at our history, that Jason Kidd ain't going to do jack squat for the boys. And although he made a few great plays at the end of the season, what did he do for him, Jess? Nothing. Helped him march out of the first round of the playoffs winless. They stink. Go Jazz. Hey, Little Jay's not here. Listen, we forgot to do the shout-outs. Mr. Shelby, you're the big bomb, man. You take care of Cody, you know what I'm saying? And hey, Boozer 5 Drow, we love you. Listen, you gotta pray, you gotta get on your knees for the Utah Jazz, because the Utah Jazz is the greatest team ever, 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 ever.